हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ फाउंडेशन कंपलसरी 603 टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द पोएम दैट इज रिटन बाय लैंस्टन ह्यूजिस एंड इट इज नेम्ड एज आई टू सिंग अमेरिका लैंस्टन ह्यूजिस वाज एन अमेरिकन अफ्रीकन पोएट नॉवेलिस्ट एसेइस्ट प्लेराइट सोशल एक्टिविस्ट शॉर्ट स्टोरी राइटर एंड ए कॉलमिस्ट दिस पोएम इज अबाउट पोएट्स सेल्फ एक्सपीरियंस दैट ही हैड एक्सपीरियंसड इन दी यू एस ए वंस इन इटली ह्यूज वॉज रोब्ड एंड ही वॉज लेफ्ट स्टैंडेड वॉन्टिंग टू रिटर्न टू द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स he tried to get a job on a ship headed for the usa but he was denied by saying that they hired only white people in this depressed state of mind he wrote i to sing america now let us see the poem and then we will discuss the poem briefly i to sing america I am the darker brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes. But I laugh and eat well and grow strong. Tomorrow I will be at the table when company comes. Nobody will dare say to me then besides they'll see how beautiful i am and be ashamed i to am america now as we see that the poet himself was an american african poet and color discrimination is the very common and very racial issue that has been raised in many united states countries as well as many united kingdom countries also so the poet himself tries to describe his experience that i to sing america i will also be an american person one day i am the darker brother as we all know friends that african people are always dark by their skin tone so he says that i am the darker brother now when he works when he used to work in the company they sent him to eat in the kitchen they did not allow him to sit together and to eat together so when any company comes he is always asked to go to the kitchen and eat in kitchen itself but i laugh and eat well and grow strong so even after being humiliated just by the source just by the parameters of color discrimination the poet did not took it otherwise in spite of it he says he will also sing the national anthem that i to sing america the same as the whites do more important the voice of the poem the servant argues that he too is america the poem shows blunt disrespect especially the line they send me to the kitchen to eat in the kitchen when company comes this this lines show the blunt disrespect from the master to his servant by sending him away every time visitors come because he is ordered to eat in the kitchen he is alienated he is isolated emne ekla padi devama aave chhe and he is secluded from the company of everyone but this does not phase him this does not 
brings his moral down rather he finds it very funny funny as in as he says i laugh and eat well and grow strong he says it does not make any difference to me the poet says that it does not make any difference to him whether he is alienated or he has to eat alone or he has to eat in the kitchen etc he says i laugh and eat well and grow strong he says while secluded in the kitchen when when he is uh, felt when he is left alienated in the kitchen he eats well not only does he find any amusement and eat well in this unpleasant situation as we all know we all must have seen such situations in our homes also that if a servant is serving in a home whenever any guest comes we do not allow him or we ask him to stay inside and we ask him to come if and only anything is required to serve any beverage any edible is asked to serve he comes then and then only otherwise it is not come outside from the kitchen and this situation is very common but it is not common for the person who is secluded it is not common for the person who is not given any permission to sit together yes so as he says he laugh i laugh and eat well and grow strong he says that it does not make any difference to me i will laugh i will take this thing positively and i will eat well but whenever i am alone i can eat well what happens when we sit together we all must have seen this situation as well that whenever we are sitting together whenever we are taking any food together whenever we are eating together there must be some person whom we make laugh if one of it yes so the poet says that i am afraid that i am not such i am afraid that i am not going to be a victim of such humiliating situation tomorrow i will be at the table he says this situation will be vice versa in future also he says that tomorrow i will be at the table avti kale hu pan aa sthan upar hoish hu pan aa padvi upar hoish when company comes jare biju koi avnaru hase tyare hu pan ek mota sthan upar baitho hoish nobody will dare say to me कोई मैंने किचन में जाइने खावा नहीं कही सके कोई एटली हिम्मत नहीं दाखी शके देन बिसाइड्स दे विल सी हाउ ब्यूटिफुल आई एम एंड बी अशेम्ड आई टू एम अमेरिका ही फर्धर सेज दैट दिस दिस पेन एंड दिस सबमिशन विल नॉट किल हिज स्पिरिट ही सेज दैट his yes his body is subjugated his body is dark but he is a human his self esteem resonates it is his self respect it is his self esteem that counts his power and his body can be overtaken but what cannot be conquered what cannot be overtaken is his mind with a strong mind his attitude becomes somewhat rebellious with a strong mind power even a patient can get up recover from any illness so this mindset this strong mindset always helps us to conquer whatever harder situation it is moreover the slave expresses the following when they finally see a black man at the table they will recognize the beauty of an african american and look stupid with shame it is very deep the poem has very deep and let us say a mouthful message the poem shouts for gender equality for color equality and freedom the poet himself depicts a slave who receives horrible treatment from his master because 
he is sent away to eat alone in the kitchen when visitors come this disrespect precipitates strength from the servant who boldly decides to take control and plans not to eat in kitchen when he is ordered to do so therefore the poem uh, this poem is very rich in its message as we talked earlier that it is his depression it is the depressive state of mind that made him that made the poet write this poem thank you very much friends